quick MCAT lesson. Here's exactly how they're going to test you on saturated and unsaturated fats. Both of these are fatty acids that have a carboxylic acid functional group on the end of a hydrocarbon chain. For a saturated fatty acid, that hydrocarbon chain has as many hydrogens on it as possible. So every carbon here has two hydrogens on it, and the carbon at the end has three hydrogens on it. For unsaturated, we don't have the maximum amount of hydrogens, and that's why we call it unsaturated. So this double bond here, the carbons involved in that only have one hydrogen each, so they are not saturated with hydrogens. The big effect that this has, we can see on the right. Notice how with the saturated fat, we can stack these fatty acids really neatly like they're puzzle pieces. And when they stack like this, we have a bunch of van der Waals forces or intermolecular interactions between those carbon chains. And so that keeps those fatty acids attracted to each other. When this happens with a bunch of fatty acids or with a cell membrane, that creates a more rigid structure. So rigidity increases with saturated fats. At room temperature, oils that are made out of saturated fat are going to be solid. And then the last thing you want to consider is that if a cell has a bunch of saturated fats and then the temperature decreases, that combination will make that cell dangerously rigid. So then the cell is going to decrease the amount of saturated fats during cold temperatures. And then the opposite will happen during warm temperatures, that cell membrane might get too fluid. And if we can increase the number of saturated fats, that's going to help that cell membrane stay more rigid. So we're going to increase the number of saturated fats during warm temperatures. And for unsaturated, we pretty much see the exact opposite. Membranes with a lot of unsaturated fats are fluid, so they can move around, they're flexible. Oils that are made of unsaturated fats are going to be liquid at room temp. And then whenever it's cold and that cell membrane is getting more rigid, we're going to try to create more unsaturated. And when it's warm, we don't want too much unsaturated or else the cell membrane gets too fluid. So we're going to decrease the number of these during warm temps. 